Marge might have some different things in her base, though. I better go, uh, I better go. Uh. <gasps> oh, whoa. Yo, there's a prawn suit in here now? Hang on a second. Hang on. And the award for the best, fastest working developers goes to... <laughs> you guessed it, guys. There were more updates and a lot of stuff was added to Subnautica Below Zero. Namely, this right here with Sam calling us. Now we can see Sam. And, well, who it is up above that's looking down over us as a guardian angel. <laughs> Wait a second. Can I hang up on... Can I hang up on Sam? <laughs> oh, no. It, it won't let me... It won't let me click it. And I can't select it at all. Wouldn't that be funny to just hang up on or go back to sleep? That's the secret ending of Subnautica Below Zero. And then we... <laughs> we die because we're buried in an avalanche <laughs> all right i'll answer hi how you doing speak to me come on oh god my head's going through the thing i still can't access these doors but there's some nice flashing red lights now uh let's just take a look outside possibly pop my head through it again there's the vesper there goes the ships okay doesn't seem like anything's too different right now however there are a lot of different things that we're gonna go over in just a moment let me get to sanctuary real quick guys because uh we're in for some treats if i read what i read correctly about to find his gps i did want to mention though guys i know last night was halloween and many of you just got a bunch of candy Please make sure you check the candy and everything. Make sure you stay safe because there are evil people in the world and sometimes they do things to said candy. Not Subnautica related. I just want to try and look out for you guys. Make sure that you're being safe and, and all that stuff. I know I probably sound like a nagging parrot, but make sure you check it. I don't want you guys getting hurt. Yo, it is a lot darker in there and the keypad's gone. I didn't expect those two changes and that looked a lot more ominous and, and scary approaching with this giant empty chamber. That was actually really creepy. Let's continue on down and see if anything is different here. Well, there we go. There's that. There we go. Ew, it's green. Why is it green? Oh, God. Yo, okay. <laughs> I feel like they're targeting these a little bit more now. Time to go down. There's the Vesper. There's supposed to be little meteor impact zones when these things hit the ground. Oh, my God. Uh, when they hit the ground, but it's not doing the thing, unfortunately. So, and then, bam. And then the avalanche starts. Avalanche looks a little bit different. And we go down. And there it goes. So the explosion doesn't happen just yet. We can't see it. Um, but the Vesper is orbiting now. It's moving around in the sky, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I saw a tweet about this a while ago, actually, now that I think about it. And it has to be visible for that intro sequence. So I don't know how long this has been in the game, but we have access to a new tool. And it's called the metal detector, I think. And... I think I can change it so it finds different things. Yeah, so like, um, that's kind of cool. I could find quartz if I wanted to. It's going to help me look around. Oh, yeah, up right here. And then, oh, yeah, right here. Check it out. It's actually working. And it takes me to another one over here. You can hear it beeping, too. Oh, right here. Hell yeah. Limestone chunk right here. That's cool. Ooh, there's hail hitting the water. That's a cool effect. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know when they added this thing, but apparently it's a thing. Don't do it! Don't do it! Get out! Get, get out! I'm trying to teleport! Get, get out! Get out! Oh, he stole it! He stole it! Come back! Come on! Come on! Come on now! Give me it! Hey, douchebag! Get out of here! Yeah, I took it back! What are you gonna do about it? Yeah? You wanna get shanked? Come on! I'm gonna stab that thing. I was trying to teleport. Uh... No, 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 no! Don't, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't... No! Get... Get out of here! Get out of here! How do I push him? Come on! Come on! Oh my god! It's so tough! <laughs> Uh, Spare, he's gonna get my knife! Oh, he's gonna shake me! He got it! Oh, come, give me, give me that. Give me that. God, give me the, give me the knife. You can't, don't play with knives. Don't swim with knives. You got it? You got it, punk? Dabbing him, he doesn't care. He's like, oh, I didn't get it. No, 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 no. So that must be this new sea monkey behavior. I've never covered that before. That was kind of cool, though. Kind of scary at the same time. That guy, could, he could have stabbed me. And coming, friend. All right, here we are at Sanctuary, and here is part of what they brought in. So they have alien robots inside Sanctuary now, which is kind of cool, or at least the one that was just down there. Unfortunately, that seems like it's the only uh, robot in here. But these things were back in the original Subnautica too, which is kind of cool. Oh, it has like an animation when it talks. I don't see the hive mind here. There we go, there they are. Man, there are so many of them. Like, that's nuts. It doesn't seem like the hive mind have moved at all since we last saw them. No aggression. Can I scan them? I can't scan them. It's really weird. Marge might have some different things in her base, though. I better go, uh, I better go. Uh. <gasps> oh, whoa. 
Yo. Yo, is... There's a prawn suit in here now? Hang on a second. Hang on. Yo. Oh, wow. They updated this to have, like, debris and everything in here now, too? Yo, that is so sick. Why is, why is her prawn suit in here? I wouldn't expect to see this in here for a long time. Wow. You can really examine this thing in its final state, almost. It looks like... It's a little bit low res, kind of, but I mean, it's just work and development. Wow, that is so cool. Can we get, it? yo, can we steal the prawn suit? Oh, oh, no. Oh, God. oh, wow, I went through it, though. That's kind of cool. And Marge obviously isn't in this one. Yo, that is so sick, though. Yeah, we can go right through it. And there's the mandible right there from the, the, the squid thingy, the cellar, cellar, th th that thing, basically, that I can't say its name. People thought this was like a reaper mandible because of the reaper in, in that room, but I don't think it is. It looks, it doesn't look anything like it, to be honest with you. But that is sick. We got some exposed internals right here. The arms bandaged up. Obvious wear around the hands. There's the extra armor right there on the sides. It's too bad I can't take this thing. What would it be like to be inside of this? Wow, that's super cool. I did not expect that. You see barnacles up there too. Oh yeah, the moon pool won't pick me up and try to do drop this one at all. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. Okay, so that's super cool. I actually want to touch base on this on this exosuit real quick with you guys. So I've been looking for ways to do this, and I, I wasn't aware of it being in the game files anymore since we saw the original cutscene involving this thing. But here's here's the cool thing. So we literally have a model of a new exosuit in the game someone who can mod can literally take because that must be a skin i think that's just a skin if someone took that skin they could probably put it onto this exosuit or if this is its own model take the rig and animation from the original exosuit and then put it onto this one and we would have an exosuit that is basically <laughs> we could we could use the exosuit if it was modded so I expect in the future for sure someone is going to do that, seeing as this is quite literally either just a skin or it's an actual model and we have the exact same resources down there to use that model. They would just be replacing some things in a dev kit. Just some food for thought. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Yeah, you can see the Reaper Manable there. Definitely not what was on the, uh, on the exosuit. Yo, wait a second. Can we scan that exosuit? Let's just see real quick. Can we scan it? Because if we can scan it, that can be a game changer. Oh, no, we can't. All right, well, I guess that's all at Marg's base for now. There's not much more I can do here. There was some new stuff inside um, that I thought I had seen. But I guess when I used Bob the Builder, I got access to everything that was in here. Oh, wow, now we can get, like, way more things to search for. Ion cubes. Oh, wow, you could you could search for uh, for creatures, too? That's sick. All right, let's keep on going down. There's more stuff you guys need to see. Check it out. So we have some more things we can search for now, which is kind of cool. Um, like right here, nickel, uh, crystal, ruby. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> okay. All right. That's cool. Oh, wow. That looked, that looked really, really bad. Um, you're gonna act like that didn't happen. So they, they fixed his cinematic. Oh, get out of, get out of me. Go, get, 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 get lost. Get lost. I will hurt you. I will continue to hurt you. Just like you tried to hurt me, punk. Come on, leave me alone. I'm just trying to get through. So I think he's talking about the fabricator. Um, because I know the fabricator is actually down in this area. Um, I stumbled across it actually. It like spawned in for a split second one day um, while I was playing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> what just, what's happening? Hang on, if I board it and I get off, it like shoots me through the structure. Oh, wow, that's... <laughs> I guess that that's weird. I thought I was going to have a quick ride back, but no, I can't. This is it right here, I think. Yeah, so um, a while ago, I actually got here. I, I, like, randomly spawned in, and while I was here and everything was loading in, like, it, okay, I, it just it just, it just just did the thing again. Um, like, how, how do I even... <sighs> I sense the presence of a substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. Alan, what is this place? A fabrication facility. With the necessary data, we may be able to construct here an alternative organic storage medium. To us, there's no difference between the body and the person inhabiting it. How do you see it? Identity is more a matter of pattern than substance. I 
am an idea. Not a set of physical components. Then why not just stay safe inside your computers? The same reason you did not stay safe on your home world. Then why don't we just copy you into a fish? First, that would reduce my capacities further. Second, you may enjoy having a passenger, but I prefer to drive. It sounds like you need your independence, and you're asking if I'm willing to help you. No, I am telling you what to do. Sam could tell you how rarely that works. Fortunately for you, our needs overlap. Can you tell me anything more? Which formats do you accept? Words, mostly. I have added the information to your database. Okay. All right, that's cool. Um, so yeah, like I was saying about this earlier, um, I just I spawned in one day, uh, in this area, and I didn't know where I was until the thing flashed, and I was like, wait, is that a portal or what is that? And I explored, and it turned out, you know, this was the the fabricator area, and th this thing spawned anyways. This thing popped up, and uh, anyways, I know some people were like, oh, he edited the game files, so so these things would spawn, and 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 he he disabled the the dev thingy or whatever. That's not the case. Like, the, mo the most advanced hacking I can do is, like, Cheat Engine. I know there's code in the game that, that makes these things despawn just before they're ready because it happened with the crash ship, and then I, I checked out the crash ship, you know, and it was spawning in for a split second, so I take a look, and then, you know, a week later or two weeks later, it was in the game. I think that's the same thing with this Fabricator, and I don't see the big deal with it. But no, I'm not I'm not hacking the game or or doing anything that makes these, these things literally just pop up for a second, and it just so happened I record... And I can go back and, and see that recording and freeze it. Just just to dispel any misconceptions that I'm doing anything that's not okay. Like, I'm, I'm not going to do something, per, like, intentionally that could get me blacklisted from Unknown Worlds and, and the Subnautica Below Zero content that I check out. I love the game. I love the devs. The devs are really hardworking people. I'm not going to go and try and hack their game and do something malicious like that. No. But having it pop up in the real world like this, I don't see an issue with it because it literally spawns in. Anyways, I want to check this out. Architect Storage Media. So this is actually kind of cool. They talk about having different storage mediums and different bodies and upgrading their bodies over time. Um, and the actual recommended uh, parameters beyond when you upload yourself to a new body. And they actually talk about a seed using specialized blueprints and materials to create a new body or something or or something along those lines. I remember in the original Subnautica, there was some touch on the lore on that, but there still isn't too much touching on the lore here just yet. And they talk about their pre-civilized bodies as well, and then it's technically possible for them to copy their data and duplicate themselves, but any self-respecting -respect architect would resolve such a circumstance by immediately deleting themselves. That's, how do you delete? Like, is that, is he saying, like, they, they would immediately commit suicide? Like, is that it? Is that what he's talking about? Like any, any, so that's messed up. That's a messed up civilization, but I kind of get, uh, you don't want to, I can't imagine <laughs> duplicating myself. There's only room on this planet for one professional idiot, okay? I can't have two professional idiots. I can barely manage myself. I'm a man child. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's go check out some more stuff. So what you're looking at right now is something I noticed over on Twitter. Um, on Twitter, they had mentioned that they brought some kind of arm blueprint or something, or, or anyways, it, it reminded me of the precursor arm. Um, I ended up spawning these objects in game, uh, and they instantly despawned and spawned and stuff. And I thought it was actually really cool to see them. So I wanted to show you guys these as well. I don't know if these are actually finalized models or anything like that, but these actually do spawn in game if you use the spawn code found on the wiki. Uh, for a split second, so literally anyone can do this. No hackering required. You don't need to do anything hackering-like or, you know, be a code master or a black hat hacker or anything like that. Um, these things quite literally just spawn in. No, I've never had a developer reach out to me and ask me not to spawn things in or, or look at things that despawn instantly and stuff, so... I'm assuming at this point, I mean, they don't really care because these things are coming to the game at some point regardless, but this might be a bit spoilery as well, so please... Keep that in mind as you continue watching through this section. It seems Alan is getting his body now, and we all know we have to create a body for Alan. He's, he needs a body. As you heard earlier, he prefers to drive and not be a passenger. And you know what? I do too. I totally get you, Alan, buddy. You know, me and you would get along pretty good. Just don't get inside my head. But regardless, it seems they are working on his body. I don't know to what extent or how his skeleton's gonna be in the final form. Um, but I think it's going to be interesting to see where things go. Oh, wait. Whoa. Yo, hang on a second. They have, they have text scan data now for these. 
Okay, we got to do something. But before we do said something, I need to show you something else. And then we'll go do said the something, because the something of the something, yeah. So check this out, guys. The jellyfish. Let me just, uh, no damage real quick. Okay, so the jellyfish is actually hostile now. Um, oh, and it has a cool sound. It also looks a little bit different, but if you go near its tentacles, it'll actually shock you. And it's not a good time. And you can see its butthole up right there. That thing actually really hurts. I don't know if it has a cinematic attack. I'm going to let it kill me just to see what happens. Um, but I feel like it's not done either. Like, it's just, like, you go near and it does, like, an electrical UI overlay or something. So, we'll have to see, but let's see if it'll eat me. Come on, big guy. Almost there. And this is going to be the one. If it eats me, it eats me. Ooh, boy. That was kind of weird. Okay. There's the statue. Okay. All right. I know lots of you are going to be wondering about this. So, let's go ahead and break out our scanner. Oh, it does. It has, it has a PDA thingy. We can't, uh... There's no words about it or anything. Um, I I don't know. It doesn't have anything else here, really. Like, there's some targeting around where the shoulder slash art might be. Um, got some waveforms here. Uh, moved into the wiki just to see if we can get a better look at this. Um, there's nothing pointing towards it being the actual body of a precursor. I mean, I would imagine this is how we would have tried to bring Alan back, like, into one of these bodies. And, like, I, I see some writing right here, but I, I can't read it. It's too blurry, and I can't make it out. Uh, there's some stuff here, too. Cell num vit dat, and then vit dat, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, I guess that's vital data. Um, yeah, guys, like, I can't I can't make out any of this. It's just It's just a bunch of numbers and stuff. I don't know how to feel about that. That's kind of cool, though. We we at least get to see some more data on this thing anyways. And it's rump, so... that That's that, I guess. I mean... Actually, moving over to the wiki, it seems a lot of them got their own little PDA entry things. I mean, that's kind of cool, actually. Uh... There's just information there for them, and, and like this one, I think, was the miner or something. Ground sampler, yeah. Uh, that's how it was sampled the ground and then you got this one right here um this was the obelisk uh you move into this one which is the statue we just looked at and then you got this one right here the water analyzer i don't know if these things will actually be active in game though anyways guys it seems like that is it for now on subnautica below zero <laughs> man there are some talented people at unknown worlds to keep on updating the game so frequently and so fast with new stuff like it's it's crazy how they push content out so fast it's actually incredible um just as a note because there's two things i want to talk about real quick one i have an up or a, a reverse uh poster image that i wanted to show you guys and get your thoughts on and two um, as far as things flashing in my games and, and stuff when I'm going to areas and, and things just popping up and whatever, um, like that, that's all it is. I'm not doing anything sketchy. I'm not, I'm not going out of my way to, to modify or edit code or anything. This stuff, like literally you guys could do this stuff too and go check it out. I'm not even kidding. Like this is something you guys can do. It's not just me. I'm not, I don't have special YouTuber privileges or something. I'm on, I'm on the, the, the dev branch or whatever, or experimental branch and that's it. Um, that everyone else can get their hands on and, and use. Like, this is literally just something they can use. Now, with that said, you know, if the developers do have an issue with these things flashing and they want a video taken down for whatever reason, I mean, I won't argue at all. No questions asked. DM me any dev from Subnautica or Unknown Worlds and no questions asked. That video will be privated and I'll, I'll edit out whatever I need to do. Um, I'm fine with that. But up until this point, and I've been covering Subnautica for years, they haven't said anything to me like they haven't so I, I i assume it's just it's fine it's one of those things that it just happens and that's it but no i'm i'm perfectly and totally fine with it if the devs have have something they want me to do i'll respect their wishes but no one has no one has told me anything yet or said anything to me aside from one youtuber anyways i'm pretty sure this has been out for a while now but this is the uh poster for subnautica below zero and someone actually took this poster and then they flipped it and made it go upside down you know and you can see and right in the middle where the tentacles are you can see it kind of looks like a monster no joke like it looks like some horrible creature is there and i don't know if that's completely accidental or if that was a little easter egg that they left in there like hey you know what a lot on top of this poster you know if they if they flip it and put one on bottom of the other so you make a full image you get one of the main creatures or something or like a creature that we just haven't shown anyone yet i mean realistically we are missing creatures that have that wow factor on a main protagonist or, or a main a main 
quote unquote villain we don't have a sea emperor per se we don't have like a sea dragon per se i mean we have the ice worm yeah it's one of them but we don't have we don't have the same aspects in the original subnautica uh, just some food for thought maybe it's absolutely nothing who knows it, it might not be anything at all but that's it guys leave a like if you did enjoy today's video and i will see you in the next one